Hello and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. I am getting ready to make us a crock pot slow cooker supper for tonight. So I wanted to show you how I'm doing this. I line mine with these savers and then all you have to do is pull this out and throw it away and just barely have to wipe the inside of it out. So I've got that already. I actually have the slow cooker already on on high so it'll get a good start because it's already 10:45 in the morning so depending on what we want to eat I want this to have plenty of time to cook so into the crock pot I am going to put I have six potatoes here they're not real big they're about a medium size I'm just going to chop these up in chunks and put those in the bottom of this crock pot slow cooker whichever Okay. That's our potatoes. Going to turn this around so that you can see what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to take a this is 12 ounce bag of little carrots and I'm going to put those in, on, in there with the potatoes. So nice to have those, you don't have to peel them or anything, just dump them in. Okay, so we've got potatoes and carrots, and I like a little bit of onion in mine, so I have a Vidalia onion I just brought home from the grocery store. And in the summertime when I can get those, that's what I get because they are so good. So I'm going to, just chop half of this onion, and I'm just going to chop it in chunks. I don't need it real fine, it'll cook up. Okay, I think that's, that should do it. Okay, we'll put that in on top of the potatoes and carrots. Then at Sam's Club the other day, I found these uh, pork, boneless pork chops, and they were reduced. I only paid five something for this whole pack, and it said they needed to be frozen by June 22nd, which is tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with them. So I went ahead and got them, and I thought we'd cook some of these today, and then I'll freeze the rest. So I'm going to lay the pork chops right in on top of that. And I'm going to do these three long ones and this one. That way we'll have enough for two meals. Okay, there we go. Go wash my hands. And then I bought the cheapest Italian dressing that I could find. This one's a fat-free, 99 cents is all I paid for this. So I am going to pour that over top. And that's all I'm putting in there. I'm not putting any other juice or anything it'll make more as it cooks and I'm going to put the lid on that and just let that cook for about I think I'll do it a couple of hours on high and then turn it down to low because I'm not exactly sure what time we're going to eat okay so I'm getting ready to get the pork chops and potatoes and carrots out and I wanted you to see it, it smells delicious and they look like they're very well done so I'm going to get those out of there and into another they're dish so well done they're just falling apart. This should be very, very good. There's the pork chops. And I'm going to put the meat or the potatoes and onions and carrots in here. And they're very well done also. There's enough juice here. If a person wanted to make gravy, you could. Oh, 
Okay, so that's it. I wanted to try just a little piece of this meat and this broke apart. So there is a little, little piece here that I can sample. Let's get a potato and a couple carrots too. Mm, that is good. Delicious. I hope you'll try this sometime. It certainly is easy just putting it all in the crock pot and letting it go.